How to use checkboxes in Excel. In this Excel tutorial, we will explore how to insert checkboxes into this table over here and then use the data of whether the box is checked or unchecked. Here's a preview of what is possible in Excel using checkboxes. You can have the formatting of table rows change automatically when a box is checked. And you can build checklist completion summaries and charts that use the checkbox data. The easiest way to add checkboxes in Excel is through the Developer tab. If you don't already have it, the Developer tab can be enabled by going to the top of your Excel screen, right-clicking and selecting Customize the ribbon. Check the box next to Developer at the bottom right and click OK. Congratulations, you are now an Excel developer. On the Developer tab, we click Insert, Form Controls, Checkbox. This brings you into some sort of drawing mode. Let's draw an area that is roughly the same as cell C2. We can now edit the standard text and change it to Done. Or delete the text altogether, as the purpose of a checkbox is pretty clear to most people. Let's do some more formatting. This is a bit tricky at first, as the checkbox is superimposed on top of the cell itself. If you click on cell C2 with your left mouse button, you change the checkbox from unchecked to checked, which is not what we want to do yet. If you click on cell C2 with your right mouse button, you can go to Format Control, and then in the Control tab, switch from a standard checkbox to a 3D shaded checkbox. This will become visible once you click OK. Now let's narrow the checkbox object and center it in the middle of the cell. This solves our left click issue as well, we can now either select the cell or select the checkbox. Let's copy over the checkbox from cell C2 into cells C3 through C6. Next, we right click on the checkbox in cell C2, go back to Format Control and provide a cell link. We link this particular checkbox to cell D2. Now, this seems to be a bit counterintuitive. Normally, with the regular Excel functions, you would go to cell D2 and insert a formula to pull data from cell C2. In the world of form controls, you are telling the checkbox in C2 to push data to D2. Click OK and nothing seems to be happening. However, once you check the checkbox in C2, the value in D2 becomes true. And once you uncheck C2, the value in D2 becomes false. As you can see, by clicking on D2, there is no formula here, True and false are pushed from C2 to D2, rather than pulled from there. We repeat the cell link procedure for each of the checkboxes and its related row in column D. Well, wait, can't we just copy over cell C2 down the rows after inserting the cell link and have this update automatically? No, sadly you can't. You have to manually assign a cell link to each of the checkboxes in Excel. I have tried every possible way I could think of to make the cell link up the update automatically. I have read every possible source on checkboxes and form controls in Excel. There is no other way, as far as I know. If you do find a way, please let me know in the comments. For now, it's not a big deal to assign the cell links to each checkbox manually. But if you have an Excel table with 100 or more checkboxes, it becomes very labor intensive. Let's check each box on and off to activate the form control and have false show up in column D for each row. Here comes the fun part of using checkboxes in Excel. Let's have the formatting of table rows change automatically when the box is checked. Select cells A2 through C6, go to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Below format values where this formula is true, type equals dollar sign D2, then click format. What you could do here is to select the strike through effect. Click OK and then OK again. For any row where the checkbox is checked, the text gets a strike through. Personally, I don't really like strike throughs on the text list. I'm actually pretty proud if I get a task done and would like to display it prominently when I have completed it. Let's go back to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, Edit Rule, Format, Disable Strike Through, go to Fill and select Bright Green. Click OK three times. Now each row that is checked turns green. 
The formatting of table rows changes automatically when a box is checked. Time to add reporting functionality that uses the check Excel checkbox data, summaries and charts. Let's add a table in cells A9 through C12 with complete in row 10 and not started in row 11. The column header is minutes in B9 and number in C9. In B10, we want to add up how many minutes of video material we have made. On the Home tab, go to Functions, More Functions and type Sum If. The range of cells we want to evaluate is D2 through D6. Let's lock columns and rows with a dollar sign. In Criteria, we type True. Sum range is the actual cells to sum, B2 through B6, with the row numbers locked with a dollar sign. Click Enter, and we see the current number of minutes completed show up. We can copy the formula from B10 to B11, and just change the criteria part from true to false. Then sum the total number of minutes in B12 to make sure it is equal to B7. In the number column, we do something similar. However, here we use the Excel count if function instead of a sum if. Functions, more functions, type count if. The range of cells we want to evaluate is D2 through D6. Let's lock columns and rows with a dollar sign. In criteria, we type true. Let's copy over the formula from C10 to C11 and change criteria from true to false. Then sum the number of videos in C12. Let's check and uncheck the checkboxes to verify that the table updates correctly and that the totals stay the same. That takes care of the absolute numbers. Now let's add a table in our Excel spreadsheet that reports on the relative progress. We copy over the existing summary table and delete the formulas. In cell B15, we type equals B10 divided by B$12. We format this as a percentage. Then we copy over the formula to the other cells and update the formatting of the totals to show percentages as well. If we complete the two videos with the longest video length, then that represents 40% of the total number of videos, 2 out of 5, but 59 of the total video length, 34 out of 58. We can now hide the true-false column, as these values are only used for calculations in the background, which the user does not need to see. Let's insert two pie charts to visualize the checkbox data in Excel. Select cells A15 through B16, go to the Insert tab, Pie Charts, Donut. Move and resize the chart a bit so it covers five columns, F through J. Let's make the chart title Progress in Minutes of Material. Let's make the color of the complete section green and the color of the not started section red. The easiest way to do that is to click each element of the legend separately, then right mouse click Fill. If you select the entire chart and click on the big plus sign on the top right, you can activate data labels. We want a data callout, but just for the percentages, not for the category names. If we change the status of any checkbox, both the tables as well as the graph update. We copy and paste the chart and align the two charts through the format menu Align. We change the link for the source data that feeds the chart, from column B to column C. Let's use the same colors as we did on the other chart. Complete in green, not started in red. Add the data labels. Click on the big plus sign, activate data labels, data callout, percentages, but not category names. Update the title to progress in number of videos. Now check, uncheck, check, uncheck, and see everything update automatically. That's some of the beauty and magic of using checkboxes in Excel.